Hello, this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure to hit that notification bell and all videos when you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Today's video is me showing you on a map like I normally do in, in uh, cases where I show you where all the different elements are. And there's possibly a sighting of somebody who may have done something to Riley Strain. Uh, and it's, pre it's pretty interesting. That's if the surveillance footage is correct. On March 8th, an individual named Riley Strain was at a bar called Luke's 32 Bridge. He was removed from the bar at 9.35 after the bar claims he was given one drink. But as fraternity members normally do, apparently he was there with you know, eight members of his fraternity. They were there to party. A lot of times you'll drink before you go out. It's called pre-funk. That's what we used to call it, like pre-function, where you would have extra drinks. But if I was a parent, I would not allow my child to be in a fraternity. I was in one. Sure, they're fun, and you can meet some good friends in there. But the fraternity, in general, usually looks out for themselves, and they look out for their own fun. So if there's one individual that's struggling... Uh, they very rarely take care of that person. They're looking out for their own good time. I had a brother that passed away in a fraternity, and after he passed away, they had chapter meetings, making sure everybody had this, the exact story and everything like that. My brother had an irregular heartbeat in general, but he, he did coke, and then hours later, somehow, he, he went into a fatal rhythm, and they couldn't save him. And, you know, it's his choice that he did Coke, 1986, it was really common at parties, etc. But uh, he passed away, and the fraternity tried to, you know, sort of silence everybody and keep it quiet. They wouldn't help. <laughs> I mean, it was really pretty, pretty disappointing. And I was even in the fraternity, and then eventually I left the school and I never went back. All right? So that has nothing to do with this case. I just want to let you know that fraternities aren't really all there made out to be okay they're really just a place to party and have a good time all right so here is luke bryan's he gets kicked out at 9 35 and then he's going down third street right here and as you can see let's just back out a little bit and then he takes a right on church street now here's where the surveillance footage starts here's the first one this one starts at 9 45 02 so we'll go down the street view here and you can see right here there's two manholes and then a light pole. Now there's two manholes right next to this light pole, but there's two right there. And if you go to the video here, you'll see uh, here is the light pole and then two manholes to the right of that. And he falls down right over here. Now I don't think he actually hit this cement block here. I think he just face planted. The angle makes it look like that, but I think he's, I think he's far enough away from the cement there that he didn't hit it. And then you see him get up. I think he hit his head really hard on the ground though and probably scraped his face. And he gets up, looks uh, way more disoriented now. And as you can see, here's the light pole and then there's two manhole covers right there. If we go to street view there's the light pole the two manhole covers and he fell down right about there now he's walking in this direction so if we go up here the next surveillance is just right down the street at 9 45 and 57 seconds it's right in this location if we go down the street view the camera that filmed that is I believe right there it's either that I think it's that camera and it's filming in that direction there might be another camera it looks like there's one there too but I'm not sure that would be the the correct angle if there's another one on the other side of the door that could be it as well um, don't see it but there's multiple cameras around here but it's definitely filming in this direction you see him pass by that opening right there uh, the street is a little bit different now. There's 
um, some signage on the ground here. Uh, in a wider angle shot, you can see this little red square, the light pole, and the garbage cans over here. So you can definitely see that. So let's get to that surveillance right after this. And here he goes. There's that opening. And you see him walking there, very, very intoxicated and disoriented. I think that fall really added to whatever problems he was having. I don't know if he's bleeding from that fall. And so there he is. If you go down to Street View and you look, he's walking by about right there. Now the next spot he goes to is at the end of the street. That's the next surveillance footage. So if we're up in the air here and you go down the street, staying on Church Street here, uh, it's right there and that puts him on Gay Street right after he goes through this intersection and the camera here if you go down the street view I went over all of this on a live stream but it was kind of buried in there over time so in the video that we're seeing a camera on this light pole as a matter of fact it's that one right here that camera is filming him walking across this intersection and he continues on that in that direction right there. So let's move to that footage. And here it is. There's the crosswalk, there's the intersection, and the camera I just pointed to is filming him walking across. Now I'm zooming in just to give a little closer up look of him. Looks like he's Got his cell phone out, it's in his hand, looks like his right hand, uh, just stumbling quite a bit. And he sort of turns around, looks like he might ask the girls something, and then he just kind of continues off the camera, okay? So at that point, he continues around in this direction. So we can go down the street view here. And just follow his path. He was walking like this. And apparently he makes it up underneath those bridges that you see up in front of us. Now one thing I, I thought was interesting during the live stream that I was doing is, is that he's 6'5 and these walls are 3 feet tall. So his center of gravity would easily make him or allow him to stumble over the wall if he went next to it. And ab he's absolutely in a state, much like, I don't know if you guys ever remember the Kanika Jenkins case where she was stumbling around in the hallways, leaning against walls, could barely walk. And I think he's in the same sort of situation here. Now in this area here, there are no walls. Like after you pass here, there are no walls. And this is where I started becoming interested in whether or not he went into the water. Now apparently they have him on surveillance camera, they said, not dash camera, they said surveillance camera, somewhere around in here walking. All right, now there's another YouTuber out there that's put together or has video of two police cars driving by and uh, they're driving by further down here and he says that it's at 9, uh, I think 54, all right? So that would be after his sighting here. So he was spotted in this area in between this bridge and that bridge. Now let's go up in the air. This is the James Robertson Parkway Bridge right here. And this bridge right here is the Woodland Street Bridge. So somewhere in between here he was seen and then his phone quit pinging just shortly after that, like around 9.55-ish. So he was seen in here between, I think they said 9.52 uh, to 9.53, he was seen right in this area. So this is the video where they, they're claiming that there's cop cars driving by at 954. Now we don't know if this is 954. That's just what we were told when watching the video. 
So let's just assume it's correct. Now, if you look at this video and you pause it, there's a tower right there, and then there's a building here to the left. And I was able to determine, if you go back to Street View, let's get on the ground here. If you go forward, through, underneath the bridge here. Man, what, what, uh, <laughs> what's going on there with Street View? This is the building right here that the camera is located. And I believe it's even possibly that camera right there, uh, one of these two even. And there's the large tower that you can see right here that's kind of a dark silhouette. It's right there. And even the building looks similar. You can see another camera right there, uh, which would probably be, uh, let's see. I don't know if it's on that end of the building. Or it's probably that one, actually. <laughs> it's probably so that is the camera. It's that camera, and you see that camera in the other shot. So you go back there, there it is right there. Possibly. I mean it's hard it's hard to tell exactly, but uh this is where that camera is filming. And it's going by there. Now the person that did the video claimed that there, the in, there's an individual running and they're not sure if that is Riley Strain. Okay, let's just play it. Now if you see that, the person has a white top and dark bottom. Even, even in that blurry state there, you can, you can make that out. Well, Riley Strain does not have that. Okay, so if you go back in time, look at that. So if you were seeing him from that same angle, from behind, he'd have a dark top. He does have a light part in the front. But he's not moonwalking in that video. He's walking forward. You see the dark uh, colored shirt and his jeans are a little bit lighter than his top. All right, so let's go back to this. Now you see this little figure running off to the right here. See how it's light on the top? And apparently this is around 954. Now I think the elephant in the room is if this timing is correct, so if we go back up in the air, like this, and that's at 9.54, and Riley Strain goes missing in this area at 9.52 to 9.53, then is the person running the person that's responsible for doing something to him? I mean, it's really, what are the odds that there'd be somebody jogging at... 9.54 at night, heading right away from exactly the location that Riley Strain's uh, phone quit pinging and the last time he was seen. He wasn't seen exiting that area and there's other cameras. So like I was showing on the show the other night, I think he went missing inside of this circle right here. It's probably, could even be more in, right in there. But isn't it interesting that somebody is moving away from the crime scene? So let's just recap this now. Right over here at Loop Bryan. And then right here, take a right on Church Street. Loop Bryan was on third. First surveillance right there at 945. Second at 945 and 57 seconds. The third at 947. And I also forgot to show you that the walking time from where he was seen last on surveillance that we've seen, it's five minutes to where he went missing. So if you add five minutes to 947, that puts you right there at 952. And that's exactly when they say he was in this area here. So if it's true, the timing that another YouTuber put out there, um, at 9.54, then the person running away from there seems to have a high possibility of being the actual person involved in the disappearance, since that person has a light shirt and dark pants. Uh, Riley Strain, from that same angle, would have a dark shirt and the pants would appear lighter on the camera, okay? So I hope you found this video interesting. I believe Riley Strain went into the water 
right around this area right here and they just haven't found him yet. The stream flows in this direction and it was higher at the time he went missing and it was going quicker and he could be way further downstream unfortunately when people started looking for him well i hope you found that interesting if the information is accurate that that is real surveillance footage from 954 uh, that does appear to be right after the james robertson parkway bridge and that's at 954 and you have somebody running away that definitely isn't Riley Strain, then you could be looking at the person who did something to him. And that guy is very fortunate because they got out there just after the police were driving by. We don't know how much time elapsed between the police officers driving by and the person running. Okay, so thank you all very much for watching. If you could put your ideas in the comment section i would really appreciate it hit that like button share and subscribe and as i always say everybody until next time be safe out there